how to add a texture to a logo in Adobe Illustrator. So I've just got open my PG logo for my YouTube channel and I've got a, just a yellow background layer. The first way to add a texture to your logo is to find the texture that you want to add to your logo. I've got a texture pack available on my website so please go check that out, download that if you don't have a texture to add to your logo. So all I've done is I've opened the texture in Adobe Illustrator. I'm just gonna copy, then I'm gonna go back to my logo. I'm gonna click on the logo and in this transparency tab, which is window transparency if you need to find it, you've got these two boxes. So on the left, you've got the logo. On the right hand side, this box here, you can add a opacity mask. Click on the opacity mask and paste the texture in and you'll see the texture then applies to your logo. So that's the first way to do it. To come out of it, just click back onto the logo on the left hand side box and there you can just move your logo around. But there is a second way to do this. The second way to create a texture from the logo is to knock out a vector from the logo. To do this, we go back into the texture, we go to image trace, press OK, because it's got quite a lot of data now within that tracing. We now need to go to object, and expand. That's gonna expand it and turn it into a vector rather than an image. Now, once we've got that, I like to just select one of the colors. So I'm gonna click on this black here, go to select same fill color, and it's just selecting the black. I'm gonna copy, and I'm gonna paste that into my logo layer. I'm also gonna group that, because all the different bits of vector are now sort of scattered around and it's just a lot simpler if you group it. So I'm just gonna group that, Command G. Now we've got this top layer here, which is the um, texture, and underneath we've got the logo. Now I've tried to apply this before, and I found that it only knocks out on this outer layer. So I'm gonna make a quick duplicate of my logo. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that into a new layer. To apply the texture to the logo, we're gonna use the Pathfinder tool. To get that is just in Window and in Pathfinder. Once you have that, we need to select both the texture. So I'll click on the texture and then click on the logo. And this second tool along here, it says minus front. So anything that's in front of the logo is gonna knock out of the logo. So I'll click on that. And as you can see, it has left this outer layer. So I need to bring back the PG part of the logo. And because I've done this tutorial a couple of times, I knew this was going to happen. So I'm just gonna bring that bit of the logo back in. So I'm gonna copy and paste that back in. So I'm gonna cut that, I'm gonna paste that into this layer again. So I've just pasted that in. And now I'm gonna do the exact same process by applying that texture. So I need to get the texture and then copy and paste. Group, I'm gonna move that into position. And I'll need to select the texture and then the PG part. And then again, it's the uh, minus front so it's only done it to the P. So I'll repeat the process until I've got both the P and the G all with the texture applied. So there we have the logo with the texture applied to it. It's now permanent as well. So all these little bits of scratches are now knocked out of the original logo. I'm gonna to try to group that together. Um, and I can do that by using the Pathfinder again and going to Unite. And that should now unite my logo so I can now drag it around. That's how to add a texture to a logo in Adobe Illustrator. Remember, if you want to access the texture pack, go to my website and you can purchase my dust and scratches texture pack to be used in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching this video. Consider subscribing and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thanks for watching.